going? This is Marty Kokish. Uh, welcome to Marty's Garage. And uh, got my buddy Josh here today with me. Hey. He's going to do some uh, recording and stuff. And um, we're going to we're gonna take apart that engine <laughs> just for kicks. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to rebuild it or if it's going to go back in the car. Because like I said, um, I think I'm probably going to head down the, uh, uh, the, the engine swap road. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I don't know, but I still have to like crunch the numbers and see what's more cost effective and blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. So, um, yeah, so I, I figured at least I should take the engine apart, um, just so we can get a look at it and see how stuff works. So good idea. I'll hey, cut to Jeff. So we're back and let's get started. So, uh, got the engine off on the engine stand, yada, yada. Uh, some of this I've already taken apart, so I've just kind of stacked it together. Um, but, uh, you know, I'll try to explain how I took everything apart and stuff, just to give you an idea. But, so the first thing to go is going to be the valve cover. There's two screws here and here. And uh, after that, you, can, you usually don't even need a wrench. You can just the thumb screws or whatever. See, that just comes off. And so uh, beneath the valve cover are the valves. Um, we've got two of them on each cylinder here, uh, an intake and an exhaust. Um, and there's, uh, uh, there's these, you see these springs on here, and these actually uh, hold, the, hold the valves closed. Um, and so um, how they're opened is by, you see these rocker arms here. Um, I've got, I'll get to that right after this, but the uh, push rods uh, push on these and open up those valves and stuff so um, when the engine's on its intake stroke uh, the you know the push rod's going to be pushing here pushing the intake valve open and gas is going to be getting in there and then um, that's going to close during the compression stroke um, it's going to ignite and uh, after that uh, we've got exhaust valves going to open up um, when the push rod pushes it, pushes it open so uh, kind of want to go around the block. Right here is where the spark plugs would usually go. Um, this guy right here, uh, I'll take this apart on the bench, but this is this is where your uh, thermostat lives. So if you ever have to change your thermostat, it's in this guy. It, it lives in there? It lives in there. That's it's amazing. Home. <laughs> it looks like a nice home, kind it of dirty. for a thermostat. But <laughs> So then over here we've got our uh, uh, where our intake and exhaust hooks up. Um, you can see we've got intake here and here, and we've got exhaust here, here, and here. So our exhaust manifold kind of hooks on here. That goes out, down, out the exhaust pipe, out through your muffler, out through the back of the car. And right here is where the intake manifold bolts on. And uh, then you've got your carbs here that are feeding the air and the gasoline into the cylinders. So. The, the head of the engine is really the big workhorse, I guess you could say. Um, you know, you, you hear a lot of people blowing head gaskets and crack heads and stuff. It seems, it seems to be a really common problem, and I can kind of see why. Um, there's, there's pretty much everything's going, around, going on here, and there's a lot of uh, heating and cooling. There's cooling, coolant, coolant and oil flowing through here. If we were to crack and coolant gets in here, then it gets into your cylinders and burning, yada, yada. Uh, same thing with oil, so there's there's a lot that could go wrong, I guess you could say. But I'll kind of give you a shot of the, the underside of the head. Let me move this bad boy out of the way. And I'll bring this over to the bench. It's heavy, too. It's cast iron and stuff. But uh, I'll kind of just lay this on its side a little bit. And so here you can actually see the valves and stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, Ooh. that's, that's so awesome. It looks like we, uh, you know, some of these look a little recessed, um, and uh, <laughs> we've got some got some nasty gook on some of these. I guess <laughs> would be the grinding. technical term. Um, so <laughs> it could it could use some work. Um, and uh, so we've got a. You can kind of see here. There's all these holes and stuff in here. If we've um, I believe, uh, let's see here, 
Um, I think, uh, well, where do the push rods go through? Push rods go through here. And like I said, that's what uh, butts up against these rocker arms and opens and closes the valves. So uh -huh. what moves the push rods, I guess you could say. So that'll, I'll just leave this right here for now. But here's some of the push rods you can see. Um, I'll just push one through. And you can see it's, it's cupped on one end and kind of domed on the other. And that just, that'll slide through there. And this is how they sit um, up on there. So something pushes on this and uh, then opens those. So I don't know, I was just kind of talking to Josh before this. Like you hear of people uh, uh, shooting, a, throwing a rod through their engine or something like that. But you can kind of, I kind of, I can kind of see how that makes sense now. Like if one of these rocker arms were to break and that valve cover is really thin, um, I could see that happening. It makes sense now. Um, I might be totally off <laughs> on what I, actually happens. I like it. I, okay, yeah. I'm going to stick with that. <laughs> so, but I'll just take some of these and so you can see over on the head here. Oh yeah, I, I'll just kind of throw these in here. Do, 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 do. But so, we've got our engine here. I can. I'm turning the, uh, the crankshaft down here. You can see the engines, the power, or the pistons going up and down. It's kind of neat. Um, and so we've got uh, one and four and two and three going up and down at the same time. And uh, I believe what's actually going on is, say that they're, uh, they're, the timing on them is 180 degrees apart. So, uh, Let's see, when one's on its uh, 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 compression, the other one is on its exhaust, and then uh, as we're pulling, as we're going down, let's see, one would be doing intake, and the other one would be doing uh, uh, the, the power stroke or whatever, the ignition stroke. Mm -hmm. I, I'm retarded, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> so, but. So they're not going bam, 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 bam. It's more like bam, 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 bam. Yeah, they're all set to go in yeah. the series. So can you kind of see this? Yeah. You can kind of see the push rods moving just a little bit. Can you? Yep. So. Um, so you can see that they're opening and closing those valves as the pistons do their things. And so over here on this other side, and here, here I guess here's a head gasket. So when you hear somebody blows a head gasket, it, uh, something's happened to this. This is blown out or something like that. Um, and so to get that, you gotta tear off the head and stuff. It's more complicated with modern day cars because the camshaft, which is what's operating these uh, these push rods is usually located on top of the engine so and you could have uh, you know a single or a dual overhead cam so you got a lot more shit going on up here so um, easier to get at with this old engine but, so i'll just pull these back up and we'll ditch this 